Nestled in downtown New Haven's Orange Street neighborhood, you'll find Nika's Market. It's got everything from fresh organic produce and meats to a wide selection of cheeses, gourmet meals, and more. Joining me right now, this is a blast, Giuseppe and Giovanna Sabino. Oh, another one of your family <laughs> recipes you brought along, huh? Thank you, thank you. Yes, thank of course. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for inviting now, now, us. Now, now, we were talking a little bit earlier. When did you first meet her? When did you first meet Giovanni? When did you first lay eyes on her? Well, it was a long time ago. We were back in Italy when we were little kids. Okay, and how old was she when you first saw her? Well, first I saw her as a woman, yeah. it was 1972. Yeah, when you first saw her as a baby. And when first as a baby, she was only like a two years old, three years there old. There you go. Love at yeah. first sight, and now <laughs> here you are still sight. together with Nico's Market. That's, That's the way fantastic. it should be. So now, um, what have you got going on over there? Summertime, and now uh, you've got the outdoor patio and all this stuff going on? Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff going yeah. on. We've got a beautiful place. We've got uh -huh. the best place in the city. Now, when you say in the city, tell me a little bit about the surroundings on the patio. How many people can sit out there? Well, a lot of people can sit. Uh -huh. I uh -huh. mean, the people sit on the walls, sit yeah. on the chairs, around the tables, sit on the, on the grass. They uh -huh. sit all over because they love our places. And uh, they love us. They, just they love it. Nika. It's like hanging out at a family place, right? That's what it is. Yeah, it's a family place. It's to a be. nicer family. How many, how many members of, the, of your family are involved with this project? I'm four. Gonna, four members four of the family? Members, yes. Okay, so who's not here today with us? It's my son and my daughter. Yeah? And they're yeah. running the market, right? Yeah. Well, they do, yeah. So you get to be they, the TV stars. They're back there working. Well, that's the way it should be. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So what are you going to be teaching us today? Let's get cooking. We're going okay. to try to cook. Okay. To help baby rack of lamb. She's going to talk to you. Okay, this is a baby it. rack of lamb. This is a family recipe, right? It's a family recipe. It's very nice, tender, and um, we do a lot this, okay. this way. So now tell us, tell us what you're going to be doing to it. Okay. First, we season it with salt yeah. and pepper. Uh -huh. This is a family recipe. Family recipe. How, how far back? How long ago been in the family? Oh, my mother used to do that. Really? And this was quick and easy. So in, uh, we're going to fix the breadcrumbs. So we'll okay. Chop garlic. Chop garlic. Fresh oregano. I already okay. chopped it. Okay. Okay. Fresh thyme. Can I give you some? You want some, and, you want some uh, of that? No, I already chopped Oh, it's already in chapter. Okay. It's already been chopped So we don't have too much time, so we do gotcha. a little work before. Okay, good. Okay, salt and pepper in here. Yep. And I like to put a little. Oh, and a little, little bit of lemon there. Okay. Give you a, a little nice. trick to it. Oh, really? Well, nice. Gotta have a little extra. Yeah, you know, it gives it that, was it lemon zest? Is that what you lemon call it? Lemon zest. Right. Uh -huh. Hey, I'm learning. That gives that little extra kick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about at home? Who's doing the cooking? You or her? Well, she does the cooking inside. Plus I do the cooking a, outside. All right. So we, <laughs> you know, we share. We share. <laughs> She's inside. You're outside. All right. right. All right. Now, what was that you just put in there? Extra virgin olive oil. Okay, good. We make sure it's moist. Yeah. And because we're going to pour. Okay, I think we nice. need just a little A little more, yeah. Oh. You moisten it up a little bit more. That's it. Because we don't okay. put any oil on the, on the, oh, on the right. lamb, so we're going to make sure it's... Now, you brought a lot along, uh, along a lot of other food with you here. You just, yes. you've got everything okay. going on. You got, so, uh, you just, so, so you just do a little bit of everything at Nika's, but you yes. brought food here to oh. feed the entire television oh, we station. Do, we do a hundreds of different recipes. <laughs> I mean, we do, we do recipes that we invent. And we put enough. Uh -huh. We do recipes from In generations. Here, uh -huh. I put a little... Rosemary and okay. thyme. A little rosemary and thyme, okay. A few ga garlic cloves. Okay, good, good, good. A little good, bit good, of good. on the bottom mm -hmm. because do, we don't have any olive oil. Okay. A little white wine. A little white wine. You got a little wine, got to go in with everything, right? Italy. Without wine, it's no Italy. <laughs> you know. I keep the meat moist. It's all the meat. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure, make sure that if you don't use it, the whole wine, you know, all the wine so into that pan. Yeah, make yeah. sure you, you hide it. You got to so put like... You, you get a glass and finish it. And keep insp inspiring you to keep cooking. That's it. Oh, that looks fantastic, and we bake Giovanna. It. Okay, well now, how we long do we bake it for how, we, how long, how many minutes? About 45 minutes. It, the, and what temperature? No one, about 350, 400, depending on how okay, the oven is. 350, 400 degrees. All so right. in the meantime... Now, I got to ask you, you've brought so many other food here, and I don't want to, I don't want to, this huh? is just beautiful for the eyes. Could you just take us through some of the other items we have here? Yeah, we course. have a eggplant rollatini. It was a request. Uh-huh, it was why it was a request? <laughs> okay, that's our crew. So here we have a, a salad. It go very good with the lamb. Yeah. It's fennel, radicchio, uh, baby spinach, and a few... Um, Basil leaves. Okay. And we're going to do vinaigrette with the lemon. Okay. Put together with the lemon. All right. And now what about over here? 
Tè. That's a focaccia paninis. Focaccia, foca, foca, focaccia paninis. Focaccia paninis. Paninis okay. made into a focaccia, our own home, homemade okay. focaccias. Right. We, we season the, the mozzarella, mm -hmm. fresh, fresh tomatoes, basil, olive oil, and a little bit of pesto. Okay. That's nice. that. Right. Now, what, now, what do we have here? Are these breads here? What those, are, those are homemade stuffed breads. Ooh, we, really? we make those of any nice. kind a request, or we make a lot of them every day. Okay, we're going to saute a few garlic, a few asparagus. We're talking, she's talking, she's oh, cooking. Well, what are you doing in there, Giovanna? Okay. What are you doing? We're going to saute the asparagus. Oh, the asparagus, okay. Of course, yeah. Oh, nice. You know, the other thing is... Oh, so, so good. Now, Giuseppe, you said you have... You have seven sauces and three of them are brand new. Tell us a little bit about your... your well, we these are all homemade sauces, right? Homemade sauces. So yeah. we have already been doing this for a while. We had already four different kinds. Yeah. And we had three organic. Yeah. Now we have, in addition to those four, yeah. regular, all natural, we have another three, which is puttanesca. Puttanesca. We have one that nobody has. has. It's a smoked salmon. Smoked salmon uh, sauce? Smoked salmon sauce. Nice. And also we have a pizza sauce, which is now you don't have to make it your sauce at home to make a pizza. So this is your own original pizza sauce? And our own, uh, and our own recipe. And so you got your own seven different sauces all together. You know, all together. what was really phenomenal was when I, when I actually went uh, online and looked at your website. And See. saw the menus and saw the food. I don't think there's anything like this anywhere in Connecticut. It's phenomenal. How, how many years have you, been, have you been here in New Haven? Oh, I've been okay. here in, since 1972. Wow. But yeah. now, you know, we've been in business since 1989. Wow, this is fantastic. And, and you're there. I'm going to cover this at the melt of the Parmesan okay. cheese on top. Parmesan cheese on top of the asparagus covered. How long should that go for? About five minutes. About five minutes, all right. You don't want to overcook those. All right, now. Now, what is it? Now, when you look over here, there's some more. Uh, you bake your own breads over there, right? Yeah. You bake is, your own bread. That's our own bread. Uh huh. And. This is, you know, this is, uh, we make it every day, fresh. Yeah. What's, now what's that dessert over there? What is that? This is, this is, a, it's called a frutta di bosco. A it's a dessert, it's a dessert that actually comes from Italy. Uh-huh. Frutta uh, di bosco? Frutta di bosco. Oh my gosh, this it's is a fantastic. very, very nice hot fruit. Very, very, a little tart. Mm -hmm. It's a really goes good after your dinner. Okay. After your lamb, after your rollatini and bread and stuff like that, you want something <laughs> sweet. So are we going to get to so try this lamb out? Are we going to get to? Yes, we're going to try. Okay. We're going to fix it down. All right, Charles? we're going to we're going to we're going to hang. You hang around a little bit. We're going to oh, eat yeah. at the end of the show. We can I try see. the lamb, try everything else, sample all this. The crew's going to love this. I stay here all day and cook more. <laughs> so don't stay go all day away. Cook. Don't go away. All right, take a look. If you wanted more information about Nika's Market, there they are, right there on the screen. You will love this place. There's nothing like it in Connecticut. Check them out, and of course, uh, if you'd like more information.